Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Nisco. Are we going into the hive? We're going into the hive. Into the hive. We got some empty honeycombs, and well, we got to get some health. Ten. I think that's a good number to cash out on. What do you got? I'm Honey Bee. I know who you are. Just, Can you help me out, Honey? Give me my health. Allow me to absorb the health from these honeycombs. Wait, are we getting max health? No, not max health. But we're just getting more health. More max health. Doo -doo. If for some reason I thought those ones in the background represented how many she had left to give us. It kind of looks like that, doesn't it? I mean, that would be a good indicator on how much health you could get. It would indeed be a good indicator. But instead, no, they're just like, oh, hey, bring me seven now. <sighs> well, uh, we are going to, uh... Yeah, are, are we going to a level that's not seen as very highly? Uh, no. Uh, it, it, uh... Hmm. <laughs> yes? Where are we going? It's interesting. Uh-huh. To say the least. I'm... I'm very, very torn in it. I... I hate it, don't get me wrong. I definitely hate it. But I hate it for reasons that are different than I hate it than Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And why I hate Pterodactyl Land. It's very, uh... Unique reasons why I hate it. Unique. I think I hate Pterodactyl Land a bit more. Really? Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, let's let's take a look. But I still hate this a lot, too. Uh, this is Grunty Industries. Uh, oh, yeah, is... I've been hearing a lot about this one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Just, it just so bad, it just keeps on hurting! Oh. <laughs> it's like you see a loved one dead in front of you. Oh! God. No. Okay, that's a little extreme. Anyway, what's so bad about this level? Well, uh, it is a nightmare to maneuver around, but for different reasons, because it's... Oh, well, we'll get into it, because the first problem, uh -huh. the first challenge they give you, is actually getting in! What? You gotta get in! Well, yeah, you gotta get in, but didn't the door open? The door's open! Huh? We can't get in! Why? We can't, you can't get in yet! It's closed! You can get into the grounds, but we can't get into the actual place! There's a fucking ginger out there, I gotta get that ginger! Get over here, you goddamn ginger! God! Get up there! Get up there, Banjo! Come on, you got claws, you can grab him! Fuck it, I'll get him later! <laughs> That's how I'm treating these now, just fuck it, I'll get it later! <laughs> It'll torture myself! A good myself. sign, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! The doors are closed! The doors are closed! And there's oil everywhere, there, ew. There's oil everywhere! It, that's, it's, that's not where it hurts you, it's still that green monster that's in everything. The green monster's in the oil? Yeah. So we found one life form that is actually... that can survive... in oil. These are batteries. Uh, I, yeah, they are. For what? <sighs> yeah, uh, I, I don't like that sigh. No. I don't like seeing you hurt. Why do you hurt? Where did the bad banjo touch you? Well, we're just gonna start one at a time here. Uh, cool. Getting in is ah! back. Getting in sound like it might be simple, but uh, it's a bit more complicated than you may think. You know what this makes me wish this game had? A prison break level. You have to break into prison to get the jiggies, and then you... So, after you beat the boss, you need to break out of prison. Hmm. And you fight like a big warden character or something like that. Five different safes that have five jiggies and then five extra ones that have yeah. bonus games attached to yeah. them. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta open up the train station here. Because this is how you get in. No, what? No. That's stupid. Why isn't the front door open? Because you gotta open it from the inside. No, that doesn't make sense. No, it does make sense. I'm not gonna, like, break through a window in my apartment just so I can open the door. Well, I mean, you... If you had, a, a, like, a industrial park like this, you would probably keep the gates closed. And then if you had a key, but we don't have a key to get in from the inside, so... Do you think Grunty has a key card? You think that old witch can actually handle opening things with key cards? Maybe that's why she turned around and just drove away. It's like, ah, Grunty Industries, we can use this to... Oh, wait, shit, I left my wallet at home. Never mind, keep going. Well, I was just thinking Grunty was going like, Oh, God, Grunty Industries, this level sucks. 
So now we gotta leave the level. <laughs> oh, then go no. to the cliff top. No! No, find the train! Ugh. Get in the train! This is probably the epitome of busy work. Choo choo? Having to run to the train. But it's not just so much that we gotta go to the train station out here. We gotta step on the pad to call him over here, then go inside the train, go through an entire cutscene where the train comes over here, then hop on the train, and then another cutscene plays. And, uh. I will say, they definitely got, like, an extended world that they're making here. But to what end? It, it's, it's just the early open world type of gameplay, where it's not like an interconnected world, but the worlds are still connected. Mm -hmm. So it just feels like a really cumbersome Metroidvania, almost. Yeah, I, I would say that. Like, it, it, like, it's it's a big, sprawling world, but it's not open. It's still very constricted and walled off, and to get from one place, you have to go through specific routes so that we can load. It's just... Then GTA 3 came along and changed everything. I love how no, you can't you can't uh, avoid these cutscenes. You can't skip them or anything. Back in the day, it was because the N64 needed all the load time it could handle. Whoa! <laughs> and for the Xbox, I assume they just wanted to stay in form. Well, I mean, you're gonna have to completely change the code if you want to do that. Oh yeah. Then we gotta go on this pad and say, "Where you wanna go? Or you think I wanna go? I wanna go to fucking the levels we're, we're supposed to be at. Let's go." I mean, n not even Chuffy wants to go to Grunty Industries. Like, he's going, uh, you sure? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm the conductor of this train, but I mean, I, you, have you seen that place? You could just skip it, you know. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone would blame you. I... Hey, do you know about sequence breaking? I think you should learn. <laughs> Alright, cool, we're in. Alright, we're finally in. Is this how we leave, too? Or can we at least open the door? So, uh... No... Most of this is blind, and I'm not gonna play this level very well. Well, I'm gonna admit that right off the bat. Thank you for admitting it. But it's not all my fault. This is probably one of the more restrictive levels in terms of maneuverability. Mm hmm Because it's like, you know, a building. It's kind of like, it's, it's like the factory level in D DK64. Yeah. So there are floors. There's only so many ways you can get from floor to floor. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, good call. Yeah. Good call. So right off the bat, we can, uh, get out of it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, there is one thing I'm happy about in DK64 that is here in Banjo-Kazooie and Tui. Precision platforming! Yeah, because uh, DK can't grab onto ledges. Ah! Yeah! yeah, you would think the Kongs of all characters would be able to grab onto ledges. I mean, they can, but they can't sidle across them. Yeah, well, it's not like primates are known for grabbing things with their hands or anything. Oh, never. No, no, no. no. I mean, what what the fuck is a human? No. <laughs> well, it's like a bear, obviously. <laughs> a human is like a bear and a bird. <laughs> As Kazooie tries to bend her feathered wing over a pen. I mean, he's wearing clothes like a people. Uh, like, and, he, uh, yeah. and, he, and he grabs ledges like a people. Uh-huh. Therefore, he's the missing link. <laughs> Banjo the missing link. <laughs> this is the safe baby way of doing it. Hey, I'm okay with safe baby. The safe baby is a live baby. Mm -hmm. And also successful baby. Yeah. For we, safe baby gets results. We want successful baby. You know, baby in a business suit, very successful. Yes. We got it. Good job. Oh, I thought you were just jumping to take some free damage. I was like, oh, well, no longer safe baby method. <laughs> just jump straight in. So there are, uh... Security uh, cameras up there that I guess you can destroy if I were if I even bothered to care yes. about that. That's what we like to see, friend. It's not like anything happens out there. They just kinda... oh, they're sending drones after you, so yeah, they kind of float around and harass you a little, but that's it. I mean, it's a little more humane than working at Amazon or something like that. <laughs> What's worse, Grunty Industries or Amazon? I don't know. Grunty Industries makes me want to blow my brains out, but I don't know. At least. Well, no, Grunty Industries is a lot better than Amazon. Let's, 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 you, let's go because you don't have Grunty Prime. Well, well <laughs> I mean, with Grunty Prime, I get turned into an evil hag like twice as fast. It's great. These are the workers' quarters. And there's a couple. Oh, 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 
God, you just got tased. Yeah. So here's one of those, uh, find all the things in the thing and get a jiggy. Those, yes. Those rabbits there all have dirty clothes. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? There are like, what, five or six rabbits? I think there's six. Uh, they have dirty clothes, they need clean clothes, you do it all and you get a jiggy, it's, it's, it's stupid. Awesome! Hey look, more Jet Force Gemini. But as you're wandering around like, like, like a, like a chicken with your head cut off, in this impossible to maneuver level, you'll probably find them all accidentally, so it won't be that bad. I love how you're just blasting open the shitter. <laughs> Let me in. Logo's here! Oh, hi. Oh, that's a disgusting guy. What kind of toilet paper is that? I believe it's sandpaper. It's either sandpaper or human flesh. I'm not, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure which one's worse. I don't know. Still better than having to pee in a bottle. Maybe it's bubble tape. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's distinctly brown. I hate that you bring up bubble tape, because now I'm just imagining that white powder they put on the end of it. Or all over the bubble tape. I've never liked that. It ruins the taste. Mm. Oh! Yuck! Really? What do you think it is? A jiggy. It's a Cheeto page. Yeah, what? No. No. J yeah, cough it up, toilet man. Uh, I guess I better just... Uh, uh, soggy, smelly, drippy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna catch typhoid with this. Here, Kazooie, you can hold on to this. The hell is this? It's uh it's a hat. <laughs> Let me put it on you. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Some more rare uh, things over there. You had BK, BT, there was a Jet Force Gemini logo. Yeah. It's too bad they couldn't put like a golden banana on there. There's another one of those rabbits. Uh, there's just a lot of rooms that go places here that just haphazardly slapped onto the level. Well, maybe we could put a positive spin on here. It's, it's well, like, oh yeah, we have a lot of rooms that go places. Am I right? All right, here's here's a here's a positive spin. Claw climber boots. More boots. More boots. Can we climb walls? Yep. Yep. Walk up walls. You see those? You, you see walls that have like you know uh. Uh, bird prints on it. Oh. Well, yeah, you put on those boots and you can walk them up. Walk up them. Walk. Get up them. Traverse walka, walka. them. So, as I'm exploring here, mm -hmm. I am quick. I, I uh, am slow to realize that you are meant to explore most of this level split up. Really? Yes. They're not like forcing it, are they? Or they're kind of forcing it. Yes. Okay. As we see here, there's a battery cover. Mm -hmm. Now, Banjo alone is going to learn a move that's like the taxi pack. That's where you can, like, put stuff into your backpack. Gotcha, okay. And that battery we saw out there earlier, we're supposed to go as Banjo out there alone, knock out the battery, pit, scoop up the battery, then, go, then come back all the way over here, put it back in there, and that opens up the new area. Very interesting. It doesn't get a jiggy. It doesn't get a Jinjo or a Honeycomb or a, or a Page, it just opens up a new area, and that alone takes like 15 minutes almost. Alright. At least it feels like that. I see what we're going for here. Is it the best? Not really. No, it isn't. Nah, I did. I don't know, it, like... <sighs> and moving around the level is so constrictive. Like you can only get up here through that. that There's a weird. service elevator, but we can't use the service elevator because we have to be transformed first. So basically, uh, there's four different ways we have to traverse through this entire five floor level. As Banjo and Kazooie, as Banjo, as Kazooie, and transformed. Yes. Four different times. That is how you extend your level. You make it huge and confusing and ridiculous to, to maneuver around, then you make the player do it four fucking times! Yes. 
You can, you can also have routes that are only exclusive to some of those routes, like only Banjo-Kazooie and Kazooie can go this way to get the floor too. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, that's good. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, yes. Oh, this is fine, this is fine. It's all good though, it's all good. Yes, a warp. Because it's just about finding it, right? It's, it's it's all part of the journey. It's all part of the mm -hmm. gameplay to, to, to run around here because things are dire. And if we want to make everything go back to the way it was, we have to do it all right and correctly. So the only way to do that is to stop complaining and get right down to it. Did you just give yourself a hero speech? I need it, all right. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine what our what our transformation for this level is. No, no, don't give me that. Don't give me that sigh. I kind of... That slight laugh. I, I, I rolled my eyes. I think you will, too. Uh, we're a box cutter. <laughs> Come open up all these boxes. <sighs> was I close? No. Okay. You weren't close. I didn't think so, but... No, yeah, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Just... Hum Humbo, turn you into box cutter! All right! <laughs> <laughs> Well, at just... least at least now Banjo can cut, bitches. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, at least you can open boxes. Go now and cut, and you just hear. Wow, gameplay! Oh, there's another Cheeto page. The notes used to be such a big part of collecting in Banjo Kazooie. It was kind of like what guided you almost. Now it, it just, it, just they just kind of feel like almost nothing. That's a Kazooie only route. Hmm. Grunty, you got a little bit of a toxic spill in your factory. Hey, yeah, you won't believe how much it sells. You know, I don't want to think that Grunty Industries has the monopoly on Nickelodeon Gak, but <laughs> maybe you should clean that up. Just a suggestion. Oh, that's crude Nickelodeon Gak. It's refined before it hits the studios. So wait. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Grunty Industries is the one that makes the gack like, you know, taste like candy or <laughs> whatever. Well, it, 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 it tastes like that when it's refined. So here's another battery. There are a total of four batteries and four areas to unlock. Yes. It's ridiculous. Yes. And what's great is that Banjo doesn't even have the means to get those batteries to unlock those places yet. I could have sworn we got a power up, though. Yeah, we did. Didn't really help us too much. So here on the third floor, just it, skipping, just, oh. just wandering around trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Here's where all the cargo goes. This is also where we hide bodies. Just behind a bunch of boxes and all that. Uh. There's another place to split up Banjo and Kazooie. I'm noticing a lot of split up places here. Big ol' pants! See, I don't have small shorts or hot pants. I got big ol' pants! Maybe Grunty owns the king size franchise. A place to buy clothing for big and tall men. Bigger pants. Big old pants. <laughs> Master of marketing, Brentilda. If it can fit my sister Grunty, it'll fit you. Oh, off to the boiler. Now with added spandex. <laughs> oh crap, it didn't have spandex before. Grunty be sporting a dump truck. There's another thing that they have, these screws. No. Yeah. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. Then again, don't unlock a Jiggy, or even a Ginger, or a Honeycomb, or a Page, or anything. Yes. It unlocks a pad that I need to go to Mumbo to get. Yeah. But the thing is, I haven't even found Mumbo yet. I mean, even if I did find Mumbo, I still don't have that little MacGuffin whatever that he needs in order to, to actually be useful. Here's another fucking battery cover that I need. It's just... <laughs> Take me! Excuse me! <laughs> well, yeah, we had a Baron Bird try to jump into the boiler reactor. Uh, what do we do? Please. Why did you stop them? Please advise. You have the the one pacifist in Grunty's uh, army. 
Just thinking, well, I, I thought he would get hurt. And it's like, that's kind of the point. Another uh, way to maneuver here is the elevator shaft. Oh, at least they give you some sort of way to move between the floors. You need to oh, open the- Oh, Jesus Christ. You need to open the door first. You got and it's just one big, long, gigantic ass rope. Why isn't it just an elevator? Because, yeah, why would you- You can't have that. No way. Why can't you just say which floor do you want to go to? It's a big rope, so that way you can got you can climb up to the one to the one you need to get to. It's easy. And it brings you back here. It feels like I've accomplished nothing. Well, hey, at least you found here. But by the way, no need to comment that yes, I know you need to split up and mm -hmm. go to those places to open up the main entrance. We will, we will get to that. I, I promise. But no it. worries, we'll get to it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of spiraling at this point. It's like, oh, there's just so much. What do I do? I can't. <gasps> it's when you're presented with so much that your brain goes into a state of just overwhelmed sadness, and you just think, oh. I'm there's no sadness. It's just overwhelmed, though. So this is the boss area, basically. Uh, oh. Through here is supposed to be a uh, boss, and if you really know what you're doing, you can kind of make it up there, but there is a, this is no place for us at the moment. God, you you had the strategy down. I was really hoping you'd make it. Just to show the game what for. Well, it's not like I could do anything. I think the door's closed over there anyway. Oh, well, win some, you lose some. Yeah, well. It's we, fine. It's, it's not fine. It's... It's okay. It's, it's pretty taxing, actually. We'll get through it. That, that is true. We will get through it. I mean, the only way to do it is to do it, so let's do it, I guess. The, oh, the spinning fan. No, the spinning fan. Can't be here yet. We need something from somewhere else to, to do this first, so... <laughs> Welcome yeah. to Grundy Industries. If you want to get anything done today, you'll go to every location and find out what you need. Bring it back to a place three floors down, and then just cry. Yeah. I feel like this is how Monokuma would induce, induce his, like, his despair in the workplace. Well, at one point, he'd just end up killing you. Actually, maybe that's a that's a decent punishment for Danganronpa 10. You know, just have them play Grunty Industries. This is the video game version of all the punishments. <laughs> I'm not going into the talk. No, no, you can't make me go into the slurry! No! Don't wanna go into the slurry. This is just all kinds of bad. Let's get out of here. It's big and disgusting and toxic. Oh yeah. Ugh. Yeah, we're out of here. Don't wanna be in the air con plant. Here is a thing that we can't do until we get one of Banjo's moves. Oh, do we have to unlock invincibility for Donkey? Nope. Speed? Another problem with this game, that they just keep piling on the more I play, is that the moves in Banjo-Kazooie, they were perfect. It was a perfect sort of ascension. It's like, here's a way to move faster, here's a way to fly, here's a way to, to use these pads to, to, to change your mobility here. Way to do this, way to do that. In Banjo-Tooie, it feels like, uh, here's more boots, uh, here's more eggs, uh, here's... One thing you can do, I mean, you got some ideas where, like, you know, like, split up and, mm -hmm. you know, then you have specific moves for when you split up. It, it just feels like that they're adding a bit too much. And they don't have, really, all the freshest ideas for those moves, you know? Well, that's what I noticed, too. I mean, it's fine if you split up Baron Bird, but giving them about 10,000 power-ups per is maddening. It's a lesson in game design. It just kind of muddies everything. Well, when you're unlocking, like, three skills per level, how on earth are you supposed to remember everything? Yeah. And sometimes Bottles only had one skill per level, and then he just kind of stopped giving him after a certain point. Here, you always have, like, three new moves in every level. And it's all based on collecting notes, so if you're trying to go for that 100%, you're kind of screwing yourself over and going, Oh, I unlocked something new that I won't remember. Sweet. So I guess, it. guess it transform into a uh, box cutter. Get the fuck out of here! No. Ha 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 ha. You fire underwear. 
Oh, is this how we make the the worker rabbits happy? Yep. We take their clothes, wash them, and spit it out back at them. Oh, are you serious? Yep. I thought we were just gonna shoot new underwear at them. Nope. They need their uniforms cleaned. This is also how we use the service elevators. What? Yep. The service elevators can only be used by uh, mechanical personnel. And this is how we use them. Okay. Mm hmm yeah. As a washer. As a washer. We have limited mobility, which means we can't jump or uh, float or do any of the th other things that we need in order to get to where we need to go to. Mm. Here's a back way that goes into the back alley of the place. Here's a switch that opens up something. That's an emergency exit to floor one. Hey, at least it lets you outside. I saw a wig- uh, not a wigwam, a wa- What are those pink things? Wombos? Well, I think Lo wombos, Lobos? Yeah. Wombos, per perhaps, but I don't know. Dobos? Odobo sauce? That's why I call them McGuffins. Huh, here's- Gremlins. Over here is a switch that uh, we need to split up for because we need to have Banjo stand there so <laughs> while Kazooie gets the clock on her boots and runs up here <laughs> to get a Jinjo! Because <laughs> you can get off of it, it closes! <laughs> uh, 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 hey, at least you're not being attacked. No, you can go through the... the uh, the dangerous waters without any problems because well you're there. you're a washer. There we go. It's, ah! There's the boots that we need. We haven't opened up the main entrance, so we can't really go back. There's no way we can go back anyway because we have to climb the ladders. And well, we're a washer. We don't, we don't have arms to climb, of course. Do you think the green monster's just like what the fuck? But there is one thing we can do. There's a rabbit back here. Hey, rabbit. You know it'd be kind of morbid if you just took their entire body inside and washed them up. Nope, but what we do have is, uh, unabashed, shameless... Rabbit nudity. Public rabbit nudity. You want... ah! No, don't put the uniform back on, you're not clean. Or I guess he's ah, just magically hot, clean. Hot, hot. Oh, ah, buttons! Ah, burning! Geek! Ow, ow. Alright, well, there's one silly rabbit taken care of. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's Monster. Not really a whole lot we can do over here as a washer, because, you know, kind of... We're a washer. kind of pinned in here. So I guess we'll just have to move on. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, worker man. What is that? Well, we'll just uh, go ahead and transform back. I feel like we haven't unlocked everything yet, and we'll get the full brunt of the washer. Once we have more places, you know, ready to go. That's fair. It, fe it feels like there's like too much to do as Banjo Kazooie right now. Anyway, I look worry about splitting up and all that. Oh, shit. Maybe we'll just play through Banjo Kazooie again. Just play that game again. Yeah. Do we need to do Banjo Tooie? I mean, I'm afraid so. That was the original idea. Damn it. Maybe we could do Banjo Pilot. There. How about you do Banjo Pilot? I don't want to do Banjo Pilot. No way am I going to work with uh, wonky physics, let alone, let alone on the Game Boy Advance of all places. Banjo Pilot was officially released, right? Yeah. Stupid question, I know, but... You know, sometimes you hear about a game that may have been released. Okay. I guess I had just never heard of it when I was a kid. Well, yeah. I only know of Kazooie and Tooie. That's it. There was Kazooie, Tooie, there was Grunty's Revenge, and then Pilot, I... Uh, yeah. Grunty's Revenge? What was that for? Game Boy Advance. Oh. Basically just like an isometric Banjo-Kazooie game. So I guess we could do that instead. I love how experimental the Game Boy Advance was, at least when it came to, like, pseudo-sequels of games. Yeah. Do you remember Crash and Spyro having again. games together? I remember they they had a specific Game Boy Advance games for themselves, and then they mm -hmm. had like a like a flopped version. Like, mm -hmm. was it was it Crash Purple Spyro Orange? Yeah, where it's Crash versus like fucking Riptor and uh, Spyro versus uh, Doctor Neo Cortex. Yes. Yep. It wasn't that good. 
I think I played Crash Purple, and it just felt like a lackluster Crash game <laughs> that was just 2D. Well, that one was isometric, wasn't it? I don't think so. No, maybe I'm thinking of Spyro. Spyro was isometric. I think I think the Crash games were stri strictly 2D. See, that's so weird to think of. Yeah. Too much experimentation on the Game Boy Advance. So as a washer, we can get into these restricted areas by, via these doors. Oh, oh, great. So we can do some things here, but miss, this is mainly just so we can get back here and get another goddamn rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your clothing. Uh. Give me your weak, weary, and dirty. So where's the water coming from? Because it feels like I'm just, you know, taking his clothes, popping in my mouth, just kind of, you know, Swishing around, just poof, spitting it back out at him. I think you are. Blech. Hawk Patui. There we go. Ew, I don't want to think about that. Just banjo hawking one straight into a rabbit's face. So over on floor four, they're using the service elevators. <laughs> I and saw all you. That. You went in a little insane there. <laughs> just going around in circles. I'm trying to get up here so we can hit these flying pads, and now we've unlocked flight outside of Grunty Industries. Well, that's so, grand. That's something. That's progress. I like that. We can do stuff. We can we can get to, we can get the top. We might be able to get a jiggy for once. Ah! Ah, not with that attitude. Get up, banjo washer. So luckily, when transformed, you and if you die, you uh, just appear right outside Wumba's wigwam. That's good. If you die and you haven't unlocked the main entrance like I have yet, you wind up back at the train station. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we need to find that teleporter. Yeah, we gotta do something! <laughs> Maybe that's just the... But it has not dawned on me at this point, as I am playing, that I need to do most of this fucking shit split up. I have not even found a second warp pad yet! Maybe that's just the modus operandi of this level. Do something. Do something! Something works! And if I do something, I'm further than I was a few minutes ago! Well, you're slowly unlocking things to do. At least there's that. I feel like that's the like the first big challenge is just unlocking everything, and then once you do that, it's like putting a route together. It's like, oh, I'll just go here, 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 and now that's there. But I haven't done all that yet. So I think we're gonna have to go for a third video for this part. Oh, well, hey, as long as it gets done. Yeah, as long as it gets done. That's 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 all that matters. Just gotta get the thing and have it on camera. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so we can actually oh, fly to the very top here, which is lord. nice. My lord! Yeah, this, is, this is a big place. All the way up here. Mm -hmm. I saw a place to... Oh, there's smokestacks. There's a honeycomb. Oh Oop. my gosh. Turn it around, turn uh, around. Oh my gosh. And there. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to get it and still maintain flight, but I don't think it's gonna work out. Nope. I don't think so. Yeah, well. I think we can get another honeycomb piece now. Well, that's good. See, it's something. <sighs> well, here's more something down here. Oh, hey! So more flight! Another flight pad and a warp pad, so there's... Oh, thank you! So there's that, at least. Thank you! So it's just bit by bit. Bit by bit. I think I actually saw a place to smash into one of the smokestacks. Yes, you did. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, yes, there we go. Yeah. There we oh, go. Oh, we don't have to, like, ram into it. That's perfect. And all of this... to go back to floor one. Hold this for a Jinjo! I thought there'd be a Jiggy here! <laughs> it's just a Jinjo! I would love it if that was a fake one. Oh. All of that just for a fake Jinjo. Just for a Jinjo. <laughs> it's something... Oh, come on. Maybe that could be the title of the video. It's something. This this is me just looking around like, like, what? What now? What did I do to deserve this? Like John Travolta in Pulp Fiction, just... Huh? Where, where, where is everything? What do I do? <laughs> where do I go? What do I do? Somebody help me. I don't know. I'm so lost and confused. Help! I need somebody help! I just need anybody help! Help, 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 help! Help! Back here the boiler room, nothing really happened here, just... Oh, you some... can't overload the boilers? Why not? I guess not. Oh, here we go. Light that sucker up. I think I need the battery. 
Fuck! Just like, oh, here's the thing I can do. Nope, I need this thing. Fuck! Oh, well, that's okay. At least we can reminisce on the good times we've had here at Grunty Industries. Pretty crying, screaming, mm -hmm. non sequiturs, mm -hmm. and crying for help. Yep. Good times. Good times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another battery over there. Just then. think about this when you're going for the backtracking episode. Just go, yeah, I remember Grunty Industries. Yeah, I'm <sighs> having a great time. As you slowly grip harder on the controller. Yeah. Okay. I, hate, I hate the builder doesn't break anything. It, what the fuck? So do this... I, oh, do I, sorry, do I need a grenade? Oh, sorry. Wait, what the fuck? All right, whatever. Why is that there? I don't know. Just to be able to drop down so you don't take fall damage? Just to be a dick, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, why would they do that? Why would they just be a dick? I mean, come on. Here's another way into floor four. That's good. Well, that's good. This feels new-ish. See? This is new. Yeah. It's the purple floor. And that's it's, it. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a place we can't get into unless we're a fucking washer. What? Yep. How does that work? It's a restricted sign. We have to be a washer, and then it scans to see if we're, you know, mechanical personnel. We are. No, I, I mean, like, how so do now you... We're, now we're here on floor four in, in uh, Banjo-Kazooie, so there's that. Camera's kind of wigging out a little. Yeah, I noticed that. There's a surface elevator. So is this how you get to the... Wait. So here's this area here. Oh, well, hey, at least pad. we got a that's good. warp pad. Now... Oh, that's why, because there's uh, these things that are smashing everything. Oh. I, th I thought it's like, did the capture fuck up? Is the camera no, no. Like, no, no, there's a, there's a loud booming sound here because of these crushers. I see. Ugh. Well, I will say, you haven't done nothing in this episode. But it feels like I haven't done anything. You're at least unlocking stuff, and that's one way to go it's, about it's, it. It's like a fucked up paradox. I haven't done nothing, and I haven't done anything. Mm-hmm. Well, let's try some splitting up, see if we can, you know, get some clues that way, you know, just, you know, why, why the hell not? Here we go, Kazooie, time to get crushed! <laughs> Alright, let's go back outside. Let's do some more flying around, I think there's more things we can do out here. This is something. <laughs> yeah. I hate to keep harping on this, but... I'm realizing this level is just a whole lot of nothing. It's a whole lot of nothing, but so much something. Yeah. Happy Halloween, I suppose. <laughs> the scariest level. Nothing nothing more scarier than just, the, you know, the, the folly of existence, oh, I Christ. suppose. More stuff to do. The futility of life. No matter what you do, you shall not finish Banjo-Tooie. There's no greater horror than the human condition, I suppose. We've given you too much busy work. You will never finish Badjo Tui. So you, you want to know what this does? You want to know what this does? Unlocks a shortcut. This unlocks one hell of a shortcut. It unlocks a shortcut to a rabbit. So now the washer can get over there and can clean the rabbits. <laughs> you can clean his clothes now. Clean the rabbits, Banjo. Clean the rabbits. I thought you were so clever because you found a door in, in you know a secret door you could fly into. And you get in there, and you think that it's something, but then you find out... <laughs> it's a rabbit. It's just a shortcut to get to, like, one-sixth of the jiggy. <laughs> it's, it's a place to unlock a way that you can go and get one-sixth of the jiggy that you're working towards. Amazing. Oh, uh, well, that's... It's Continue on, we're gonna see another breakable window, I think. And yet I still hate Pterodactyl Land more, if you can believe that. I don't know how. A lot of these levels have just been meh. This one is, is at least distinct, and I know where I am. It's just getting there that's an absolute nightmare. Pterodactyl Land, I don't know where I'm going because that looks the goddamn same, because there's not a lot, not a lot, not a lot of theming. It's like, oh, dinosaurs, and eh. The jiggies suck more, too. There's the Cheeto page. Yeah. All right. Oh. 
Well, I, I think we can afford a Cheeto cheat now. I think we deserve it after all this. Is this game Banjo Fan's favorite game? I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to understand. Because I haven't been a quote-unquote Banjo fan in a very long time. You just enjoyed the first game. I enjoyed the first game. I, I didn't play enough of the second game to get that much of an opinion. I remember liking the first game more. That's how I know that front and back. I didn't play any other Banjo games. And Nuts and Bolts effectively killed the series for me and everybody else involved, so... So no harm done is what I'm hearing. Oh, well, no, I mean... It's, it's just another rare game for the N64. And it's... it's okay. Oh, yes. A place to- a place to break. Yes. Yes, so here go we are in. We're, Stuff. We're on floor five of the- of the place. as have Android Kazooie. That's good. Storage! Rabbit! There's the rabbit here, so now we're back in the restricted area that we got here as a washer the first time. Oh! So there are a couple things we can do here. Very nice. Will we get a Jiggy in this episode? Will we get a Jiggy? That is the question. There's not- there's only five minutes left, we better hurry. <laughs> Time's running out, Banjo. Time is running out. Get that jiggy. Hmm. I like the look of this level, at least. Just a little bit. Yeah, it looks better than Pterodactyl Land because it every floor is distinct. Floor one is like the, the central hub. Floor two is like green. Floor three is like where all the boxes are and all that. Floor four is purple. And floor five is a storage area up here. See, I, I know that now. Pterodactyl Land, though there's the big open area with the hills and the... Uh, there's, there, there, there's the swamp, yeah, and then there's the cave that um, t is by that other cave with the place that I... T I t yeah. Uh, t well. All of this for a ginger. <laughs> uh, it's not even a ginger that gives us a jiggy. <laughs> yes. It's all going amazing right now. I'm sure. I'm sure. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, I think that's a reference to where Rare was located. I, th I think you're right. Twee Cross, England. I so, thought- I almost thought it said Twee England. So bef before you think that's all, there is another window we can get into. Oh? I think it's on this side. Nope. Uh, other side. Right there. It is. Into the storage room so we can get a Jinjo, yeah. I think there's like two Jinjos left. In the level? Yeah. Well, if we take care of them, then what's stopping us from getting more Jiggies? Ah! There it is! Oh! We're gonna get that Jig! Oh shit! Oh no. Did you. No, did you fuck it? I don't think I did. Okay, there's a ladder up there. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> get it. I'm gonna get that Jinji. That gin <laughs> I'm gonna get that Jinji. I don't even know what they're called anymore. It's been so long. It's been ten thousand years. <laughs> Let me get a Jiggy. Yeah, yeah, okay, just gotta, just gotta. Yeah. Just, oh my God. Just, just, but I don't think I can get it. Ah oh, shit! I can't, I can't get it. It's just out of reach. But you know what we can do up here? <laughs> we got one of these. You know what this does? <laughs> Open something for Mumbo later. Oh, it certainly does! This is gonna lead to a Mumbo pad! We haven't even found Mumbo yet! Oh, at least we found a Jiggy! We found it, but we haven't gotten it yet! I know! Because we have to come up here as Kazooie! <laughs> and it wasn't even a Mumbo pad, it was a shock pad, so that way we can come back up here so that we got a shortcut at least! Oh, yes! Oh, wait a minute. This means we can find a split-up pad, right? Yeah! Yeah, we can split up and then take Kazooie up there and Kazooie then... can come up here now if we can, if we can split up. Oh, that's good. That's let's, how- Let's so, do that! That's how you know that this whole thing, you need to be, uh, split up pretty good. There's one more thing we should do before we go. Well, I think you understand this now, so that's good. There's one more window that we can get to. I think I saw it earlier. Yeah, it's just underneath here. Oh, right. there it is. Get, get, get. There we go. Please tell me this has like the teleport pad or something like that. Uh, Just so we don't have to do all this crap again. We gotta open up the door for that, which I haven't done yet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Please don't die. Let's <laughs> just blow that guy out of the water right now. Roger, 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 Roger. 
<laughs> maybe the, cool, the cooldown's coming, so I'm just, I'm just like, oh. Maybe that's why they give you so many ammo types, just to take out your frustration on Grunty Industries. Right, yep. Let's go in that window and see if we can't do anything. We're going on strike. Please be a jiggy. Please be a jiggy. Uh, let's see if you if your wish comes true. If oh, you believe hard enough. Oh, get in there. Believe, UDJ. <gasps> it's a jiggy. <sighs> Give me the gold. It seems like it's pretty heavily guarded. Give me the gold. All right. Let's hop in there, boys. Let's do it. Huh? And... Not anywhere near close enough, and fuck me! See you next time on Banjo-Tooie.